In this video we will cover how to download and install IIS logs. First open up your internet browser and go to IISlogs.com and scroll down on there once you're at the home page if you scroll down you will see a downloads link if you click the downloads link it will take you to our page where we have all our software notice we offer a 30-day evaluation this is full version software not trial or evaluation we offer two versions a 1.0 and a 2.0 we offer two products a standalone exe which is a council based application and then a windows service which runs as a background process like like any other windows service the 1.0 version requires the dotnet 1.1 framework and the 2.0 requires the .NET 2.0 framework to run. For today's video, we will be installing the standalone EXE 2.0 version. So let's click the download link, save, save it to the desktop. Take a few seconds here to download. All of our downloads are approximately 2 meg, so they're not too big. Okay. Let's minimize this. Let's extract our zip file. Click Extract. Once it's extracted, there's two files, the setup exe and the associating MSI. You need to be a local administrator or running in an elevated account that has installed permissions on the server. This particular system is Windows 7, 64-bit. Uh, the local account that I'm running at is a administrator. And UAC has been disabled. Let's click Run the welcome screen, the legal agreement, pretty standard stuff, just kind of review that, any questions, hopefully you agree, click I agree. Next, we will take the default for this video. You can install this in any custom location so it can run on a, a separate E drive or a D drive if you would store data. This is not hard coded. So click next. Confirm the installation while well, this installs. You might have noticed that this is a 64 bit machine, but it comes up in the x86 folder. IIS logs can run on a 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. It's complete. Let's click close. Let's close this up. Just to show you for awareness that. C program files x86. There is this IIS logs exe2 folder, and these are the files that were installed. Let's close that up. Depending on how you have your start bar, you click start all programs. IIS logs creates a, some startup icons. So just make you aware that we have one more thing that we'd like to cover. On our home page, you will see a link here called quick install help today's video is also written in article form it has a little bit more information of why IIS logs was started and everything and its goals but this particular article uh, titled 123 go configure covers in this article exactly what we covered in this video so this concludes this portion of downloading and installing IIS logs thank you